Something from the comments. Michelle writes, Zay, can you do a video on the fact that adults always tell teenagers, I know it feels like, all right, I can tell this is gonna be a tough one. Let's get some help. Zay, can you do a video on the fact that adults always tell teenagers, I know how it feels like the end of the world? Speaking as a teenager, I understand that my problems and emotions might seem petty and insignificant compared to full-grown adults. But if we are meant to learn responsibility and maturity, shouldn't our elders spend less time telling us that our problems are small and more time helping us get through them? Thanks, comma, Michelle. <sighs> Michelle, you've stumped us. It's hard for me to talk about this topic and not sound like a fuddy, chubby, old, washed up old man going, oh, you kids, someday you'll understand. Basically, teenagers are idiots. And they have, uh, their brains are still developing and their neural pathways are developing as well. What Rain is saying in a tongue-in-cheek way that teenagers are idiots, or at least vastly different from adults, is a common refrain. Aristotle compared teenagers to drunks. PBS did a series called Do Your Teens Seem Like Aliens? Time Magazine referred to teens as a famously reckless species, a different species, and then there's this. There was a Supreme Court um, uh, debate about this several years ago. It was written up in Science Magazine um, as to whether, you know, teenage, the teenager, the adolescent, was akin to you know, uh, mental disability. Wowzers! This view of the teen brain as less than or broken or bad has been changing. And as Rain points out, in the last 10 years, there's been a lot of interest in what's happening inside that teen brain. Look, when you're a teenager, you don't have access to the front of your cerebral cortex, and that's basically where wisdom resides. I re that's why teenagers do so many stupid things, because they're not able to think through consequences of their behavior. But it's what makes... But... What Rain is trying to say is that the teenage brain is undergoing a radical transformation. On one hand, neurons are being coated with a fatty myelin sheath that makes them faster and more responsive. At the same time, there's a pruning of gray matter as neurons become more efficient and deeply connected. This happens from back to front, with the frontal lobes being the last to mature between the ages of 20 and 25. The front part is where we weigh consequences, plan and predict, regulate intense emotions, control our impulses, and deal with nuanced group behavior. Adults with damage to their frontal lobe become impulsive, childlike, sexually disinhibited, and more focused on themselves than others. It's what makes teenagers awesome because you think about how many brilliant teenagers are out there. Their brains are working overtime. I mean, you think about Mozart, you think about John McEnroe, think about all of the brilliant, amazing teens out there that are able to create and write and think so much. They're able to change the world because they don't have that part of their brain going, no, you shouldn't do that, that won't work. Just a, a clarification to the audience. Uh, Mozart is dead, and McEnroe is, a, is an older gentleman. He's an old tennis player. Just a, just but a, he was brilliant when he was factual, when he was 18, 19 years old. That's direction. when he was throwing all of those monster tantrums at the net, throwing some clips of McEnroe doing some tantrums at the net. Ready, go. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! When you're a teenager, everything is, everything is on 100. You know, you... When you fall in love, you fall in love at 100. When you're passionate about something, you're passionate 100. And that's just the way it works, and that's great. In adolescence, you're literally at 100 in some ways. The amount of bits of information you can process is peaking. Your capability to learn and react is extremely high, and the way that your brain responds to rewards is near its maximum. Teens really live in a different world than the one that adults are living in. A heightened world. The brain is sensitive and amazing and wonderful and special, but it's also most at risk for addiction, making bad choices, being overwhelmed because of that sensitivity to reward and the lack of organized foresight. Evolutionarily, this might be a time when you're prime to learn more about the world, to start investing and exploring your future, to have new experiences, a time when you're specifically driven to make new social connections. But that emotional piece, that emotional piece is real and big. I remember moments where, I remember tearful moments with my journal in my room, uh, blasting the clash, tears running down my face, thinking nobody understands me. I remember getting dumped by Terry Capsalis uh, my junior year, and I slept in my closet for two weeks. Really? I was so depressed. What kind of closet? Was it a big closet? It was it? a closet, like it was an 80s style closet where you'd, you'd pull the doors and they'd, what do you call it, scissor open banana. Uh -huh. So it was kind of long, right. it was like a six foot long closet, but I'd put my dirty clothes in the bottom of that closet and I slept 
amongst my own dirty clothes. Michelle, I don't think that understanding the science of this will necessarily address the emotional piece, but it can be a gateway for your parents to understand a little bit more about what's happening and for them to become more patient and thoughtful. And hopefully it also helps you reach out and get some support when you're feeling overwhelmed and also get some help when you're making big decisions and feel like you're losing perspective. One thing that I will say about adults is that we have gone through it. We've had those big moments and come out on the other side, sometimes in a more stable place in relation to our bodies, our minds, and the rest of the world. But you think about like bullying, you know, and you read about these cases of like online bullying, people making fun of someone or saying, oh, she's a slut or a whore, you know, on Facebook or whatever, and then the person killing themselves. And it's like, I wish that they could have the perspective to see that the opinion of the 137 people that are Facebooking about them just doesn't count for shit. Um, but at the same time, that problem is very, very real. Those realities are huge. Right. I remember when I was about 12 years old at um, swimming classes or swimming lessons or whatever we were doing swimming, I pulled myself out of the pool and my swim trunks fell down and my butt was exposed to everyone. It was a total American pie moment. And everyone was like, ah, ha, 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 ha. And I remember feeling ashamed and embarrassed about my butt being exposed uh, for, I remember years after that, just cringing at the thought of people. Now I could, I would, right now, I'd just show you my butt right now. I have no cares about that. So you, your perspective changes, but, but it is what you are feeling at that age is important. It needs to be recognized and it needs to be honored. Yeah. Maybe the, the one thing would be that the severity of feeling is sometimes out of line with the reality of the problem. That is perfectly said. I, I honestly don't want to say anything else now. That's, we should just end it right there. Perfect. Don't talk. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. It's the bye bye song. Hi, I'm actor and man about town, Rain Wilson, and I wanted to tell you about a very exciting new YouTube channel that I'm launching on July 23rd, Soul Pancake. We're gonna have tons of fantastic new content that is going to explode your brain stem. Trust me. Will you please subscribe? I'm gonna make this easy for you. Click on my face and you will be click instantly subscribed to what? Soul Pancake. Click on my face. No, click no. on my face. Why are you, what are you doing? It's okay. Where did you, you come from? Why face. are you there? Click on my face. Try You're it. just confusing click things. On my face. Click on my face. No, click it on this face. If you click, wait. click on this face. No, I was, it, everything was so simple and then you. Click on me. Click on me. Click <sighs> magic on my cubby. Click on my face. Uh, yeah. They, and my, it, it, are, uh, <laughs> the, the rain. Uh, yes.